Yeah, welcome to uh, the Eurobike. We're here together with uh, Danny McAskill uh, at the Magura booth. Thanks for taking time, Danny. No problem. Yeah, yeah sure. thanks. Um, yeah, I just have a few questions to you, Danny. Um, what is your, you're just here on your own personal Santa Cruz bike. Yeah. Um, if you have to decide on one bike for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, that is a tricky one. I mean, I've, of course, I've got my custom made carbon trials yeah. bike, which is pretty awesome for the trials. So, if it was as far as trials bikes, it would have to be this, obviously. But uh, mountain bikes, it would have to be the Santa Cruz 5010. You know, okay. that's my favorite all round bike. I can ride sort of trialsy stuff on it. I can do go down any mountain, go down downhill tracks if I really wanted to. I mean, struggle a little bit, but uh, I enjoy kind of a challenge a lot. So, yeah. Okay. So, some kind of an all rounder. Yeah. But you still stick to Santa Cruz. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Well, you rode a lot of places on Earth, and probably you've rode nearly every trail or every every city on Earth. Uh, is there still one place left you you would like to ride? Um, I would love to go uh, visit Japan at some point. Um, obviously, there's so many huge cities to go ride street riding in there, and also they've got amazing mountain biking. Okay. So. Um, one day I'll kind of head over that way, so definitely Japan. And what was the craziest thing you've ever done on the bike, just in terms of, of craziness? <laughs> uh, it's hard to say. I mean, all the stuff that I do in the videos is all very calculated. It's hard to say. Probably more when I was a kid, when you had much less, <laughs> you try things that had much less chance of going right, you know, when you were jumping off like six foot walls to flat. Yeah. And there was probably about a 10% chance that the front wheel was going to come off at the end of the wall. That was, <laughs> I was probably crazier than I am now. So, yeah. yeah. We are here at the Magura booth. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I see you're riding uh, Magura brakes on your Santa Cruz bike. What is your favorite Magura part ever? Oh, ever? It has to be. That's a tricky one. I mean, uh, I mean, for me, it has to be. I mean, part why? I mean, I, I'd almost say like the the race line legacy has okay. to be kind of my favorite. I mean, when I was growing up, all my heroes. Um, would ride Magura brakes, you know, whether they're riding the Kamikaze, whether it's Hans Ray or yeah, yeah. John Tomac, yeah. uh, Martin Ashton, yeah, all okay. those guys are all yeah. running Maguras. And yeah. in, back in the day, it used to be the um, HS33 brakes, yeah. Um, classic, classic. yeah, or the Raceline Ds, you know, yeah. those are like iconic. And for me, it's amazing to uh, be riding the Raceline colorway, you yeah. know, beyond Magura and uh, to be to have the race line as my signature color. So I've got to say, you know, the Magura race line, my signature yeah. edition brakes has got to be my favorite. But yeah. just because I've had the input, I've been able to like have the lever I want yeah. and basically just the color I want as well. So it's, very, it's a real honor for me to be riding Magura. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Uh, you mentioned a few names of, uh, of riders. What were the riders uh, that most inspired you? Um, when you when you were not that famous when you were a kid, who looked who looked you up to? Uh, so I mean the, the top sort of trials guys in the UK uh, the, when I was growing up, looking at MBUK magazine, um, were Martin Ash and Martin Hawes. Okay. I mean they were always in every every magazine every month. Chris Hagrig, he's yeah. had a huge influence on me. I've tried to copy a little bit of his style, yeah. uh, and st he's still a big inspiration to me these days. Um, Brian Leach as well. He was the person that really managed to start taking the hops out of trials rather than everything being like pause, hop, hop, hop. He, he did you know, this manifesto video which was basically trying to eliminate those hops and I, that really has stuck with me and I try to kind of stick to that when I do the videos, but okay. I can, within reason, you know, sometimes it's impossible to take them all out. But. Yeah. And of course, Andre. Yeah. I mean, Andre is still, again, a huge inspiration to me today, yeah. um, managing to kind of just I suppose almost from a career point of view, mm -hmm. you know, seeing he's still doing it into his 50s, yeah. still loving riding bikes every day. Um, still being very fit. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, he's still schooling me up hills, yeah. like going up Kilimanjaro with him and still schooling yeah. me to the top. So, yeah, yeah it was... Uh, so still inspiring. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky to be friends with all these guys now. So, okay, yeah, cool. let's go. Well, Danny, you mentioned uh, you developed your own brakes together with Magura. Yeah. Tell me what is special about them. Um, I mean, the, my signature brake uh, basically just had the HC3 lever, um, which you kind of developed that uh, you could basically modulate the power in them. Okay. So you could either have them quite wooden feeling, mm -hmm. um, a little bit less power, but you could, you know, like really start of feel that bite point. Or the way I run them is actually at the most powerful setting. Okay. It's a little bit more sponge to them. Um, but the power is just insane. You yeah. know, it's like uh, yeah, that's what you need. Yeah, you're yeah, it's quite a short yeah. lever as well, so it doesn't cut your fingers when it, when you really clamp down yeah. on it. But at the moment, I'm actually trying out some different lever designs. We could have um, got these 3D printed titanium yeah. 
um, kind of mule, I suppose you'd almost call them a mule kind of lever. Yeah. And then you've got these 3D printed plastic okay. sort of um, uh, sleeve that goes over the top. So we can basically quickly test, I don't know how many different types, I think they've had 40 different, 40 different, yeah, okay. different like configurations of length or yeah. curve of different things. Yeah. So you can we can quickly take these on and off. So that's what I've been testing the last uh, few weeks. And I know Loic's been testing for Loic Bruni on his uh, downhill bike. He kind of likes a flatter lever. So I've been yeah. testing some of that stuff as well. So you so. can you can customize them for your style of riding. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not good. These are just prototypes, so they won't okay. be available. Uh, like this, you know, okay. eventually they'll be turned into a nice aluminium okay. machine lever. But um, for us, as uh, professional riders, sort of testing the product, it's amazing yeah. just be able to kind of try all this stuff out and okay. kind of rapid prototype stuff. Yeah. So really cool. So how many prototypes went into your own brake lever? Uh, just round, many, the, round about. I'm not sure actually. We kind of we had a quite a clear idea, I think. It was more just to sort of get this part right, you know, where the finger was yeah. actually a touching, because Magura had already figured out the first part. Okay. And my part was kind of just uh, going with what I liked at the at the tip, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, very lucky. I mean, it's such it's so I can't stress enough how cool it is for me to be working with Magura yeah. these days. I mean, as a, I've literally ridden them for like yeah, it's a special almost, thing. Almost, to... almost 20 years, so okay. it's cool for me to now uh, to be riding for them. So yeah, very cool. Thanks a lot, Danny, for taking your time. Yeah. Cheers, man. Yeah, Thanks. have fun on the Eurobike and Thanks, uh, I will do. enjoy. Cheers.